All right, so I said that I was only going to do uh, three more videos, but I kind of fibbed. This is video number four. Um, hi, Paul, Arsenal LCG. I was going to address a rule change that may be potentially going into effect as of TCGCon Denver. Um, it's something that I've noticed in terms of playability, and it's something I brought up at the last event at Dex and Dice Tournament Center here in Lakeland. Um, this rule is effectively going to take away the ability for people to stockpile Ender cards in their charge zone. Uh, ender cards are worth zero charge for a reason. They're supposed to um, mitigate a player and make that where the player is not able to uh, utilize them to pay for resources in the future. But the problem is, is a lot of players have realized that you can effectively stockpile those after you use them in the charge zone, resulting in you not having damage in your deck. Um, so, going forward, uh, as of TCGCon Denver or the next event that I host or any time that I'm playing with someone, I guess, um, the following rule will go into effect. If you have an Ender card in your charge zone and you pay for an ability, it, you must discard it minimum one. That is the rule. So if you don't pay for an ability between both players' turns, at the end of the round, you must discard at least one Ender card from your charge zone. You are not permitted to stockpile charges or ender cards in your charge zone henceforth. Uh, that's kind of going to be a rule. I'm going to announce it officially on the Discord server. But the main thing is, is that it enables players to be able to be defeated. Um, theoretically, there's a way that you could have all your ender cards in your charge zone and result in a deck of less damage than what it takes to kill you. Um, so... The rule is, as I put it, the ender cards must go to the damage zone or must go into the discard pile once at the end of a round or whenever an ability is paid for, whichever comes first, each round. So that's the general rule. I'll put an official like statement on the Discord server later, but I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention, and I can't wait to see you guys at TCGCon Denver. I apologize that I have to find these oversights uh, as the game is being built, but that's part of introducing people to a brand new game. But thank you for your time, and have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.